Hello my beloved scholars, welcome back to our channel. This morning we're going to be looking at years, months, weeks, days, hours, subtraction. Now there's another video that deals with addition. So if you also want to learn how to do that, you can check that video. This morning we're focusing on subtraction. So we need to make sure we understand the conversion of the unit. So there are 24 hours in one day, seven days in one week, four weeks in one month, and 12 months in one year. All right? So when we're subtracting days, hours, weekdays, years, months, we have to remember that if, we're, if we don't have enough, so for example, if we're taking a bigger hour from smaller hours and we go to take one from the days, we don't carry it over as one. We carry it over as 24 because there are 24 hours in a day. If we're taking one week to, to transfer it to days, we don't, if, we're, if we say we're taking one from the six to carry it over, we don't say that we're carrying it as one. We're actually carrying it as seven because there are seven days in one week. For the years and months, if we have to take one to bring it over here to help out, if we don't have enough, we're not carrying it over as one year, we're carrying it as 12 months. So that's a crucial thing to bear in mind when we're working with subtraction of these units. Everything else, if the rules apply for normal, as for normal subtraction. Just remember, if you have to go across to bring over one week, when it comes over to the days, we carry it as seven. If you have to take one year to take it over to the month, we take it as 12 months. If we have to take one day, we take it over as 24 hours. So, we have 10 days, 23 hours, subtract 5 days, 5 hours. So we can actually take 5 from 23, right? So that's 18 hours, and that's fine. And then 10 take away 5 is 5. So nothing complicated there, just simple subtraction, right? We didn't have to pull out any fancy tricks for this one. So let's see what happens over here. We have six days, 20 hours, subtract three days, 23 hours. Now we know that 23 is bigger than 20. So we're gonna need some help. We need some more months at the top in order to take out the 23 months. So we're going to go over to the days. We're gonna take one batch of days so we're taking one batch of days from the six, we're left with five days. That batch of that day, when it comes over here, it's coming over as 24 hours. So we have to put 24 hours and we're going to add it to the hours that were there already. So you can go to the side and add your 24 and your 20. So you get 44. And then you can take away the 23, so you're left with 21 hours. You see that? This is very crucial. Very crucial. We, we needed more hours because we're, we're taking away 23 hours. We only had 20 at the top. So we needed some help. We needed to go get another batch of hours, right? So we took one day, but we can't just carry it over here as one because one day is 24 hours. We carry it as 24 and we're going to add it to the 20 hours that we had there already. So we can go to the side, add our 24 hours that we just took from the one day, add it to the 20 that was there already. We got 44. Now we can take, now we have enough months. Now we have enough months to take out the 23. So 44 take away 23 leaves, 21. Now we can put our 21 hours. 
And then we can go back now and subtract the days. So 5 take away 3, that's 2. So our final answer is 2 days and 21 hours. So let's look over here. We're taking 20 hours from 15 hours. Again, we're going to need some help. We're going to need some help. We're going to have to go over to the days, take one day, and transfer it as 24 hours. So when we take one day from the nine days, we're left with eight days. Take it over as 24. Let's quickly go to the side and add those 24 and 15. We get 39. And when we take out the 20, we get 19. So that's what we're going to put there. You see that? 19 hours are left. Now the days, we have no days to take from the 8. Because it was just 20 hours. There, were, there weren't any full days for this one. So 8, we just put back the 8. So it's 8 days and 19 hours. The same principle applies for the weeks and days with the exception that if we're taking one week, we're going to carry it over as seven days because seven days make one week. So if we don't have enough days at the bottom and we're going to need some help so that we can subtract, we have to go on to. So let's look if we have enough here. We have six weeks, six days, and we're taking away five days. We have enough because we're just taking five from the six, so that's fine. We just put over one day and we carry down the six weeks because there are no weeks to take from it. And that's it for that one. That's it for that one. Here we're taking two weeks, three days. We're taking five days from that. So this looks like we're going to need some help. This is, we, we can't take five days if we just have three days. We're going to go over to the weeks. We're going to take one week. But remember, we can't carry it here just as one. When we take one week from the two weeks, we have to carry it as seven days. And we have to show that we're going to add these seven days to the three that we already have. So seven plus three, that's ten. And then we take out the five days. We're left with five days. Now we can just bring down our one week. You're getting the knack of it, right? So here, we're taking six days from four days. We're not going to be able to do that unless we go and get a batch of days. We're going to go for one week and spread it out into the seven days. One week is seven days. So we're taking one from the nine Carrying that one week as seven days. So now we have seven plus four, that's 11. And we take away the six, we're left with five. Five days. Eight take away three, that's also five. So it's five days, sorry, five weeks and five days left. All right, so we're good, we're good, we're getting the hang of it. We have three more to go. This time, though, we're taking years and months. So we need to understand that if we go over to the years and take one batch, we're carrying it over as 12. Because 12 months make one year. So, can we take 8 from 10? Yes, we can. We can. 10 take away 8, that's 2. So, we're good. We're good here. And 5 take away 1, that's 4. Nothing fancy for that one. Here, we're taking 11 months from 11 months. Can we do that? If you have 11 months, can you take 11 months from it? Yes. So we're left with no months, zero months. And two years take away one year, that's one. So the final answer for this one is one year and no months. Just one full year. 
here now we have three years and six months subtract nine months. Now we know we're not going to be able to take the nine months from the six months. We're going to need some backup. We're going to call for backup. Okay? So we're going to go over to the three years, take one, the two years, and we're bringing it over as what? Are we bringing it over as one? We're bringing it over as 12 months. So we're going to add the 12 and the 6, and that's 18. Take away 9, that's 9 months. And we're bringing down the 2 years. So now we're good. Now we're good. So our final answer is 2 years and 9 months. So the basic principle is, if we are subtracting whether days to hours, weeks, days, years, months, and we need some help because the, the number at the bottom is bigger than the number at the top, we can go over and get some help, get some backup, bring in some more troops, right? However, just remember, if it's days to hours and you go for one batch, you have to carry it over as 24. If it's weeks to days and you go for one batch, you have to carry it over as seven. If it's years to months and you go get some troops, carry them over as 12. And add it to what was there already, then you can subtract. And the rest of it is just easy as pie. Because you already know your subtractive principle. If you don't, you can always go and check the video that was done specifically on subtraction, right? Just look up that video, um, get yourself up to speed with your principles of subtraction, and then you can carry on to subtract your days, hours, week, days, years, months. So if you have been helped by this video, and I hope you have been helped, just comment to say, thank you, miss. Please share the video so that other students can benefit just as you did. Share it to your classmates, your friends, your neighbors. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe now. And if you would like me to cover any other topic at your grade level, please leave it in the comments and I will certainly do so. And I'll see you in the next video.